let's talk about call in versus call out first, actually, because mm-hmm. I think that lends to a few of the topics. Um, when you become really passionate about something, when I was passionate, I still am, but when <laughs> I first started realizing, I was like, I really care about this one thing. Um, I was very good at calling out. I was like, hey, you, you haven't done this or you haven't said this and all of that. Um, yeah. But I realized that there's a difference between calling out and calling into a conversation and you need to kind of pick the people you call in versus call out for, uh, with. Mm-hmm. So call in is like inviting someone into a conversation and going like, okay, you can ask some questions about this. Okay, um, you know, your views might be completely different and it will make you feel so uncomfortable. There will be moments where you're like, oh my God, I cannot believe this person thinks this. Mm-hmm. Um, but the truth is that they've had a lived experience of their own um, that may have informed their views, perhaps. Um, so, so you just need to basically choose who you call in versus call out. And I think, mm-hmm. I don't know, Alicia, but like this one is so important when it comes to family. Like when you want, need to call, you, calling out family is very hard. Um, but it's advocacy work, you know, you don't have to be protesting and we can talk about that later, but having conversations with your parents is advocacy. Mm -hmm. Activism. And it's one of the hardest kind because these are people you love and care about, or, you know, give you sustenance or whatever resources, Mm -hmm. um, and love, but, um, they, they, I would say, depending on your relationship with your parents, there are people like I would call into a conversation, Mm -hmm. you know, I would ask, questions um or i would allow them to ask questions as long as we have established that we're both coming uh from to a place into that conversation to learn it's not uh-huh. to win an argument uh-huh. yeah that's a really good point <laughs> yeah and i don't know like what are your experiences of family advocacy or within a community that you have links with oh it's it's a lot harder than sort of calling it even calling out friends is somewhat easier than it is to call out or like call in with even any kind of sort of having conversations which are confrontational or seem confrontational because you disagree especially it depends on sort of the cultures you come from as well but where it if you're if you're trying to if you're trying to advocate for something you care about and someone else finds it disrespectful where it's and you you kind of don't you just don't align with your views and that's okay it i think it's also really important to sort of keep in mind that it maybe their views are not i mean your views are obviously really representative of who you are so it's really hard to separate that but it doesn't make someone an overall bad person Mm -hmm. and i think that's really sort of it's hard it's really hard to um it's really hard because sometimes people you love have views that you hate 